Hi, today I'm going to walk you through how to set up conversion tracking on your WordPress website. So in your Google Ads account, if you head on over to the conversion section uh, within tools and settings and conversions, you'll see a page like this. Uh, you want to go over to new conversion action, click website, and here you want to insert your website domain name and hit scan. And now you'll have two options. So you can either go ahead and set up the tracking by having a final URL uh, that the user lands on, or you can set it up manually. In my case, because the user is landing on my website, they're filling out a form and they're then being redirected to a thank you page, I can quite simply go here and just type in the final URL that they'll land on, give the conversion goal a category, so a submit lead form and hit add and now go down below and hit save and continue you'll now go to a page like this so the next thing you need to do is go ahead and set up the google tag so if you hit set up google will give you the tag here which is something you need to paste into the back end of your website so if we head on over to wordpress so now within the back end of your website you want to go over to plugins and add new and you want to search for a plugin called wp code and you want to go ahead and install that. And once that's installed, you'll get this little section down here called code snippets, and you'll head over to the header and footer section. And within the header section, you want to go back to Google ads. You want to copy your Google tag and go ahead and paste that in there and hit save. And then you want to head over to your website. So now I'm going to teach you how to make sure that the tracking has been set up correctly. So one thing you want to add to your Google Chrome is a tag assistant legacy plugin. Uh, so if you type that into Google, you'll be able to download and add that to Chrome. And then once you've got that installed, you want to go ahead and activate it. You want to hit enable and then record and then refresh your website. And there you can see we've got our global tag, which is set up correctly. And now you simply just need to navigate over to your thank you page. Have a look at the Chrome extension. And here we can see Google Ads conversion tracking is set up correctly. If you have any questions or if this tracking isn't working correctly for you or potentially you have a, a form on your website and you don't have a thank you page, just let me know down below in the comments and I can create a video for you teaching you how to do that. I'm going to have lots more videos and tutorials coming up uh, in the future for Google Ads. So if you liked what you've seen, please like and subscribe.